um, in Sri Lanka, uh, you all have seen uh, government statements that the military operations are now over um, and that uh, all the civilians uh, are out of the, conf the previous conflict zone. Uh, obviously, we're relieved that the fighting is finished um, and uh, hope that um, all the civilians are indeed out of that zone um, uh, and indeed uh, heading towards safety. Um, but it's hard for us to be absolutely sure about that for the moment. Uh, obviously, that is one of the things which is um, we're still trying to check uh, insofar as we're able to do that. Um, but we believe that uh, the civilians are actually out of that zone uh, on the basis of what we know at the moment. Um, what that means is that uh, there are around 220,000 people altogether who've already reached the camps. Uh, that includes uh, an extra 20,000 in the last two or three days. And we think there are another 40 to 60,000 on the way to the camps um, through the, check, the, the, the crossing point at Omentai and on the way to the camps near uh, Vavunia, in particular the major camp at Menik Farm. Um, the, uh, that poses obviously hu major humanitarian challenges, a further large influx of people, um, 60 to 80,000 people over a, a short period. Uh, this provides, uh, poses major challenges in terms of shelter. Uh, in terms of the provision of basic services, food, clean water, medical services, and so on. Um, but the government and the agencies on the spot are heavily engaged in doing that, um, making sure that more tents are being erected, more land is being cleared um, to make sure that the reception um, is as good as it can be. Uh, as we said before, the conditions in these camps are not uh, certainly not ideal. They're not up to international standards yet, but everybody's working very hard to try to make sure that they are. One of our concerns is the the Menik farm site, the main site um, near Vavunia, uh, is now very large indeed in terms of a, of a camp uh, and there are issues of overcrowding there. Um, but a, a major effort's been made. I think uh, over uh, UNHCR and others have erected over 25,000 shelters and tents uh, in the last few weeks. So uh, a major effort has been made and that will continue um, because of the, the, the sheer scale of the need. Um, renewed appeal was made, as you know, um, a couple of weeks ago, and SURF has allocated, uh, I've allocated from SURF uh, just over $11 million to help with that response. There may be more resources needed in the future, um, but we'll have to look at that uh, as we go forward. Um, beyond the uh, actual provision of physical facilities in the camps, there are the issues we've raised on many occasions, the civilian nature of those camps, freedom of movement, uh, distribution of ID cards to those in the camp so they can enjoy freedom of movement, um, uh, the issues um, of um, uh, access to the camps also. We've had full access so far and we hope that will be maintained because that's absolutely uh, vital for us. Family reunification uh, remains an issue um, for s indeed some of the old inhabitants of the camps but also I guess for the new ones. So the, there are many issues there which we've raised in the past and will continue to be very important. Um, I think beyond that, um, a key que question, obviously, which will arise more and more now that the fighting seems to be over, um, is the question of resettlement, how fast that can happen, and how fast uh, any kind of reconciliation process can start um, with a view to the kind of political settlement that we all want to see, which would enable the, some of these uh, wounds that, uh, to continue to be healed. Obviously, we've been concerned all the way through with the numbers of uh, deaths and injuries um, inside that conflict zone, in, uh, especially as it, it got smaller and smaller, but there's nothing really new I can say to you about that, about those numbers which you've never been able to address satisfactorily. Um, but of course we have fears that uh, in the course of the last few days of the campaign there were extra deaths um, by, by, uh, for, uh, of civilians despite all the efforts that may have been made to avoid that. But as I say, I don't have any figures or reliable information uh, I can give you on that score. Uh, Vijay Nambiar is there, as you know, and is pursuing these issues on the spot. Uh, and I think we'll be visiting um, the um, camp area uh, tomorrow um, to see for himself uh, how things are going.